All right, let's take a look at how to edit the final URL in Google Ads. And this was going to be for a specific ad, right? Now, I'm in Google Ads, I'm under campaigns. I've already selected a campaign up here at the top. Even an ad group, just to narrow things down. We've got one ad here. Let's see, we're on ads. And then if we, there's a, if we hover over this ad, we should see this little pen tool. By clicking on that pen tool, it's going to pop open a page like this where we can make some adjustments to this ad itself. This is the final URL. This is going to be a page where we're actually sending the traffic, right? Now, maybe we're sending traffic to the home page, but we want to send them to like a very specific landing page or a service page or something on the website. If that's the case, we can come in here and just adjust this final URL. Have it be whatever it is that, that uh, we desire. So long as it's our URL, right? Or our domain. Uh, once this is set up, then all we do is come down here and click Save Ad. That's going to update the final URL. One thing to note before you do that, though, is it when you update the final URL on an ad, it's kind of like creating a second ad because Google is going to go through a new process of learning and figuring out what it wants to do when sending traffic to this new page on your website or your, your landing page or whatever, right? Because of that, my recommendation is to actually duplicate your ad. So you basically come here, click edit, copy, and then click here and click. And when you do that, then it'll have a duplicate in here where we can basically just change the URL around. In fact, probably just do that real quick here. So we'll copy this. And then it's going to pop open and ask if I want to pause the ad after pasting. And then this one's really important. It says if the ad already exists in its destination, create a duplicate. We definitely want that as an option. I also like to just pause it. Uh, just, you know, make it a little bit easier. Uh, I don't think I got one of the selections right in a previous step, but from there, it should give us the option to paste it. Then we'll just have two of these ads. And so we can come into one of them, the one that has not been running, the one that has zero data, and then change the final URL. Then what we would do is pause the old ad and enable the new ad right here. So you can just pause and enable from here. The reason why I recommend doing it that way is because then you still have the original ad in case you want to come and turn that back on at a later time. It still has all of its data and everything is in there. And then you kind of have a new fresh ad. Not only that, but then you can compare them side by side and say, okay, when we were running traffic to this page, we got these results. But when we switch to this different ad, all else being the same other than the, the final URL, we got these different results and now we can make a determination of what's working better, right? So that's kind of a final URL editing in a nutshell, but if there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.